This form is an adaptation of form P4060. Screening Questionnaire for Child and Teen Immunization. Revised October 2010. From the Immunization Action Coalition. Located at 1573 Selby Avenue, St. Paul, Minnesota, 55104. Their phone number is 651-647-9009. Their websites are www.immunize.org and www.vaccineinformation.org. Further explanation of how to answer the following questions appears in the video titled Child and Teen Immunization Screening Questionnaire and on the back of the form. Please enter patient's name, date of birth, month, day, year. Screening Questionnaire for Child and Teen Immunization For Parents or Guardians The following questions will help us determine which vaccines your child may be given today. If you answer yes to any question, it does not necessarily mean your child should not be vaccinated. It just means Additional questions must be asked. If a question is not clear, please ask your health care provider to explain it. Please indicate your answers to the following questions by marking the appropriate column. For yes, mark in this column. For no, mark in this column. And for I don't know, mark in this column. Number one, is the child sick today? Number two, does the child have allergies to medications, food, a vaccine component, or latex? Number three, has the child had a serious reaction to a vaccine in the past? Number four, has the child had a health problem with lung, heart, kidney, or metabolic disease, such as diabetes, asthma, or a blood disorder? Is he or she on long-term aspirin therapy? Number five. If the child to be vaccinated is between the ages of two and four years, has a health care provider told you that the child had wheezing or asthma in the past 12 months? Number six, has the child, a sibling, or a parent had a seizure? Has the child had brain or other nervous system problems? Number seven, does the child have cancer, leukemia, AIDS, or any other immune system problem? Number eight, in the past three months, has the child taken cortisone, prednisone, other steroids, or anti-cancer drugs, or 
had radiation treatments. Number nine. In the past year, has the child received a transfusion of blood or blood products or been given immune gamma globulin or an antiviral drug? Number 10. Is the child or teen pregnant or is there a chance she could become pregnant during the next month? Number 11. Has the child received vaccinations in the past four weeks? Form completed by Date Form reviewed by Date Did you bring your child's immunization record card with you? Yes or no? It is important to have a personal record of your child's vaccinations. If you don't have a personal record, ask the child's health care provider to give you one with all your child's vaccinations on it. Keep this record in a safe place and bring it with you every time you seek medical care for your child. Your child will need this important document for the rest of his or her life to enter daycare or school, for employment, or for international travel.